In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create creative concept with four steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have uh, designed this uh, uh, bulb and then you can add your headline and the detailed text. How this works is when I click the first step will come then second, third, fourth. So let me just show you when I click, you can see here the first option comes option number one. You can add the icon and the detailed text here when I click with a different color it will show me the option 2 the option 3 and the option 4 so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the rectangles top corners rounded draw the rectangle maybe this much size and you can see the two small orange points so drag the bottom orange point something like this you can see here and then the top one you can make it outside drag it outside and then I'm not reducing the size because the moment I reduce the size it will be less curved all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the top part for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle i'm going to cut maybe this much part the half part and then i'm going to select the rectangle first the rounded rectangle then hold the shift key select the rectangle merge shape i'm going to subtract it shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to insert the one more same shape the top corners rounded rectangle draw it you can see here again the inner one make it drag it outside the outer one you can drag this inside and reduce the size and you can bring it down also shape outline make it no outline so you end up getting a shape something like this so select both the shapes merge shape and just make it union then go to insert shapes from the rectangles again i'm going to select the rectangles rounded corner now draw the rounded corner rectangle and drag this inside you can see here and then exactly put it in the center press ctrl d to duplicate add it at the bottom reduce the height and width you can see here something like this and put it in the, exactly in the center again press ctrl d again reduce the height and width and put it in the center and then I'm going to add one oval shape. Hold the shift key when you're making the oval shape. And then just bring it something like this here. Make sure it is also in the center. And once this is done, I'm going to select the shapes. Merge shapes, make it union. Shape outline, make it no outline. All right, so we end up getting a shape something like this. And this also you can move it somewhat up if you want. And then I'm going to select all this one, align center, then merge shape union, and then I'm going to give some different color. So this is the base is ready. I'm just going to bring it down. Now let's add the top part. Now I'm going to add few more rectangles. Go to insert shapes, select the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rectangle. You can see here, maybe this much size and drag this orange point inside a little bit shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give any color of your choice and then i'm going to put it exactly in the center and then using this arrow i'm going to rotate it something like this and put it here all right then press ctrl d to duplicate move it up and reduce the size you can see here a little bit and again put it in the center give some different color press ctrl d to duplicate again move it to the center reduce the size and then for this i'm going to give some green color again press ctrl d and reduce further and this one i'm going to give some blue color now i'm going to select all these colors you can see here these options 
and align make it center all right even you can select this one also and make it align center all right so we have got this one if you want to reduce the size also you can reduce it's up to you again if you want to bring it more closer you can bring more closer as well you can see here and make sure that the equal spacing has been given for that select this one and distribute vertically so equal space has been given here so once this is done i'm just going to add one more shape here go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle again draw the rectangle maybe this much size and make it curved a little bit shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate give some other color reduce the size you can see here something like this put it in the center exactly and then i'm going to cut this part so first select the blue rectangle select the gray one merge shape i'm subtracting this one shape fill i can give any light color here then go to insert shapes the bottom part i'm going to cut even if not cut also no problem but let me just cut this so i'm just cutting this part reduce the size and exactly put it in the center and send this two back you can see here uh, the bulb design is ready and if you want you can add few more shapes at the back also but this is uh, sufficient for us for this design now let's add the text here go to insert text box i'm going to type option one all right make it bold increase the size center align and you can put it here make it white font and then just bend it something like this press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here one or you can hold the ctrl shift key together and then just drag it and release it again drag it and release it so this is option two option three and option four so once this is done you can add some detailed text here for that you can go to insert text i'm going to type again option zero one here font i'm going to choose the font which i've used here for option one make it bold increase the size then below you can add the detailed text center align again make it somewhat gray reduce the size again center align put it here and then i'm going to just bring it somewhat closer hold the ctrl shift key together bring the other side also and again i'm going to select all this text and then hold the ctrl shift key together and move it up so this is option one this is option two three and four now again you can just change the color depending on the color selection here so three will be green and four will be blue and if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can uh, simply insert the icons and if you want you can do some basic animation here and one more thing which we need to add here is the the headline so i'm just going to duplicate this one and then bring it here home make it white font increase the size and i'm going to type headline 